It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Friday, May 8th, 2020. First, we have an update in the killing of Ahmad Arbery. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation announced Thursday night the arrest of father and son Gregory and Travis McMichael and the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery following a storm of public outcry. Attorney for Ahmad's family believed that he was the victim of racial profiling after he was chased down while jogging and shot by the two white men in a southern Georgia neighborhood as a third white man recorded the killing on video. Ahmad Arbery was 25 when he was shot shot and killed February 23rd. Number one, Sunday is Mother's Day. It's safe to say that in the age of the coronavirus, this Mother's Day will be unlike any other in history. Most of us will have to adapt to this new normal as we seek to honor the most important women in our lives and keep them safe. With masks in place, gloves on hand, and elbow taps replacing bosomy hugs, let's show all the moms how special they are in this pandemic age. Number two, what happened to Sean Reed. The 21-year-old began a Facebook live stream as he tried to evade Indianapolis police from the interstate onto side streets Wednesday around 6 p.m. Reports indicate the police chief and others dropped back after the speeds reached 90 miles an hour. Another patrol car spotted the African-American man at the location he announced during the live streaming. Minutes after Sean Reed began to run, the shooting death by police was heard by thousands. Comments from police were picked up by Mr. Reed's phone before the video stream was stopped and many believe deleted by a member of the Indianapolis Police Department. Number three, as the coronavirus crises continue, many citizens are extending their resources and talents to help fill in the gaps of those in need. This week, rappers and business partners T.I. and Killer Mike donated 500 meals to hungry families. Partnering with the nonprofit Paw Kids, they hope to meet their goal to distribute 1,000 meals per week during the pandemic. The group has already provided over 86,000 pounds of food to the community. Number four, as more businesses open today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott knows and has privately admitted that lifting the stay at home orders can infect and even kill state residents. But the two-term Republican is willing to take that chance to get those cash registers ringing again. Number five, this week's Coronavirus Chronicle comes from one of my closest friends, ex-coworker and the best hugger in the world, Stephanie Williams. My exuberant girlfriend shares her story of being trapped between being a self-described serial hugger and a germaphobe. Read her story on how the coronavirus literally hit close to home and had deadly effects in less than a week. And that's what you need to know. For more information, go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.